Hi everyone, this is Indra. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about angle between the curves. Uh, here we will use the concept of the derivative to find the angle between the curves. Uh, this is one very important application of the derivative for finding the angle between the two curves. Here I have taken one example to illustrate this topic. Please watch this video till the end so that you will get the answer of this question as well as some basic idea of the derivative of a function at a point and if you don't subscribe my channel yet please make sure to subscribe it and press the bell icon for instant notification of all the uploaded videos in this channel without wasting any further time let's go ahead here uh, today's question is find the angle between the curves here the curves are given two curves are given one is xy time xy is here a square and the next one is here x square plus y square is 2a square uh, and the remember one very important point while calculating the angle between the two curves we have to first calculate the slope of the tangents at that point we have to first calculate the slope of the tangents at the point of the intersection so uh, while calculating the angle between the curves we have to first uh, find out the point of the intersection between the curves let's uh, solve these equations to get the point of the intersections between these two curves here the curves are given x y is one curve is here the x y is here the a square let's say this is the equation one and the next equation is here next curve is here the x square plus y square this has the value 2a square let's say this is the equation second here the two curves are given let's solve uh, these two equations to get the point of the intersection and uh, x square minus y square whole square x square minus y square uh, all over raised to the power of 2 this can be written as in terms of x square plus y square this is whole square minus 4 times x square y square please remember this very important uh, relation algebraic relation between the x square minus y square and x square plus y square x square minus y square whole square can be written as x square plus y square whole square minus 4 x square y square here is minus so here is minus uh, this is the one relation and uh, let's substitute the value x square plus y square has the value 2a square its square gives 4 a raised to the power of 4 minus 4 uh, times the x square y square the x square y square the value of the x y is given here the a square its square is a raised to the power of 4 4 a square 4 a square cancel it out this gives the result 0 therefore the value of the x square minus y square is here the square root of 0 is just 0 uh, this implies this relation implies this implies the value of the x and the y are same here from these relations we we get here the one very important uh, beautiful relation between the x and y they are equal x y x is equals to y let's substitute this result uh, in any one equations let's take the equation second from the equation second let's substitute the value of the x is here the y square so 2y square is here equals to 2a square here we just substitute in equations 2 is the value of the x is equals to y uh, therefore uh, this equation tells us the value of the y is here just 2 will be cancelled out the value of plus or minus a here we obtain the value of the y is the plus or minus a this is the value of the y and at this situation when the value of the y is plus or minus a then uh, the value of the x will be the same the value of the x will be the same plus or minus a here we obtain the point of the intersection so the point of intersection the point of the intersection point of the intersection is here often is the x comma y it is here just plus or minus a comma plus or minus a this is the point of the intersections between the given two curves uh, let's evaluate the slope of the tangent at this point For, uh, and we know that the derivative always gives the slope of the tangent 
let's uh, take the from uh, equation one first and differentiate these equations uh, to get the slope of the tangent let's uh, from one we can write y is here equals to a square over x here we take the equation one and rearrange the terms here and uh, if we differentiate uh, with respect to the x then dy over dx will be let's uh, just differentiate this the derivative of 1 over x is just uh, negative 1 over x square uh, x is a square over x square here we just differentiate uh, the equation 1 with respect to the x this is the dy over dx and uh, therefore therefore the slope of the tangent let's say this is the m1 slope of the tangent on the first curve uh, here we uh, represent this by the m1 m1 is just dy over dx dy over dx at the point at this point point the of intersections and when we substitute the value of the x is a plus or minus a then that will be negative one if we substitute the um, first value of the x is a positive one positive a then negative one if we substitute the value of the x is the negative a then this will be again negative one so the value of the m1 is here calculated as the negative one this is the value of the slope of the tangent on the first curve at the point of the intersection similarly uh, we can uh, do the same thing in the equations uh, in the uh, curve second curve second to find the uh, slope of the tangent at the point of the intersections let's take the second equations now from second equation the equation is here x square plus y square is here equals to 2a square this is the equation second let's differentiate these equations with respect to the input variable x after differentiating 2x plus 2y dy over dx and the derivative of 2a square is just 0 therefore the value of the dy over dx from these equations will be uh, negative x over y this is the value of the dy over dx and uh, therefore the value of the slope of the tangent let's calculate let's represent it by the m2 it is the slope of the tangent on the second curve at the point of the intersections or at the point of the intersection at this point at this point let's calculate first of all taking the positive sign if we take the positive sign then uh, this will be negative one and if we take the negative uh, negative a comma negative a then that will be again negative one therefore the slope of the tangent this is the slope of the tangent uh, on the second curve at the point of the intersections here we we have calculated the slope of the tangents on the respective curves and let's uh, evaluate the angle between them angle between the tangents here these are the slope of the tangents and here the slopes are equal m1 uh, is here negative one and the m2 is also negative one slopes are equal so this uh, this should be the tangent should be the coincident the angle between them should be the zero degree coincident lines let's uh, evaluate by using the formula theta is please remember this very important formula n inverse mode of m1 minus m2 all over one plus m1 times m2 this keeps an acute angle between the uh, between the tangents on the curves let's evaluate the angle between the tangent that will be the angle between the curves let's substitute the value of the m1 and m2 in this formula uh, tan inverse uh, mode of this is the mode line mode of m1 is here the negative one m2 is also negative one so positive one over one uh, plus one here we just substitute the value of the m1 and m2 and this will be tan inverse zero tan inverse zero gives always zero degree therefore the angle between the two curves is here zero degree this is uh, the angle between the tangents uh, at the point of the uh, intersections on the curves and the angle between the tangent is the same as the angle between the curves at that point of the intersection so the final answer is angle between the curves is zero degree here we calculate the angle between the two curves this is the final solution of this question in our next video we will discuss more about such type of the problems please keep watching 
keep loving this channel this much for today thank you